Uh, it may be a long weekend, but money managers still working on where best to invest their clients' money, of course. My next guest says uh, three things that long-term investors can learn from, well, long-term traders. Let's bring in Portfolio Wealth Advisor CIO Lee Munson. Lee, thanks for joining us on a day when the markets are closed. But of course, we and you, we don't stop working. Um, let's talk about when the markets get going tomorrow. We've seen these markets move up and up and up. Do you see anything to slow them down? I do. There's about, here's what I'm looking at. You know, most of my clients, they're retired baby boomers. They only take money out, right? So I send them yeah. checks. Money doesn't come back in. So I have to kind of know when to pick profits, and that's a little different from a younger person who's just always saving. Mm. Number one, look at General Electric. What's up with GE? It is diverging. I mean, it's going down when the Dow Jones is going up. Mm. When you have a big bellwether that's diverging like that, I tell you, the Dow Jones is going to lose, and it's going to have to work off some of that, that difference. Number two, have you noticed all these Friday closes where investors will put money in? They're not afraid of what Trump will treat of, tweet over the weekend. They're complacent. <laughs> the volatility, the VIX is really low. That complacency, as one of my favorite technicians, Tom McClellan, says, that will be punished. <laughs> the third thing I think you have to look at is... Remember the dollar rally? What happened? We yeah. now have net short option futures. Okay, let me tell you in English. There are more people now, degenerate gamblers, degenerate gamblers, there are more of them now who are betting <laughs> that the U.S. dollar will go down versus up. That's a new thing in the last two weeks. So that means, the bottom line is, if you see small cap value, those small cap value things, uh, emerging markets, if you see them going down in price like Ivanka's pumps, you need to go and you need to buy that whole shoe collection. So again, I don't think it's going to be big. Ashley, this is going to be a nice, easy correction. We may get 5, 6, 7 percent off. Don't be a pig and try to wait for a big, huge dump. See a sale, go in there, load it up. Make it easy on yourself. Yeah, you know, we've had several analysts, including Barron's, by the way, although they said this is over the next eight years, but there's no reason why the Dow can't go to 30,000 if oh. President Trump gets his way and gets his policies, his tax cuts, his reducing the regulation, and uh, uh, if those things can be put in place and if he avoids a trade war, or a real war for that matter, there's no reason why this market can't continue to climb at a good clip. Oh, you could, we could see 2,600 on the S&P 500 with just a 20 multiple. That means in English, this market could go up another 10% and still be reasonably valued. Yeah. But here's the thing. Here's what I, Ashley, I think I know <laughs> where the little sale's going to be, where, uh, you know, we're hanging out, all of a sudden there's a sale. It's going to be some news story, some cycle where they say the tax cuts, they're going to be slower than expected. Yeah. There's going to be some, it's going to be unclear. You know what people are going to do? They're going to run to the hills and sell. And you know what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to be drinking tea, buying their shares. <laughs> Isn't that the Warren Buffett way when they're running away screaming you're going towards it because you think that's where the opportunity is? Yeah, it, it's, it, who do you think I get all my good ideas from? It's rip off and duplicate. That's the R&D. <laughs> you sound Chinese. That's what they do. Uh, listen, um, okay, so as we head into this new week, um, where are you telling your people you like GE? Why, this, why the dollar bet against the dollar very quickly, Lee? That makes me interested because I feel like the markets are moving higher. There is optimism out there, but the dollar, mm, what, what's the problem there? Well, if it's too strong, then we can't bring more manufacturing back to America. And so there's yeah. currency wars out there. Your average stock investor doesn't really need to worry about that too much. But here's what you need to remember. If our currency is too pricey, it gets harder for us to sell stuff to other places. And so what we want, we want the dollar to get weaker. It does two things. It helps smaller companies here in America be more competitive right. selling stuff elsewhere. And it also gives a tailwind to emerging markets. Because remember, when we buy Lee stuff Manson. in other countries, you are, you are on fire. Thank you so much.